Number 11, what is the wavelength of light falling on double slits separated by two micrometers if the third order maximum is at an angle of 60 degrees. All right, so we're dealing with a maximum, therefore we're dealing with constructive interference, and therefore we're gonna be using the equation over here for the double slit constructive interference, the second one from the top there. This tells us that the distance between the slits multiplied by the sine of the angle between the slits and this third order maximum will be equal to then the order m multiplied then by the wavelength. So since we're solving for the wavelength, just divide out m. And here's now your formula for wavelength. Look at how nice and beautiful that is. So now we need the distance of the separation between the slits. They told us it's two micrometers, but you know we need that in meters. So simply take two and multiply it by 10 to the minus six. Then it's gonna be the sine of that angle of 60 degrees. Then it's gonna be divided by M. So now here it's third order, so M is three. Be careful if you're dealing with destructive interference in number nine, I gave you instructions of how to think through that. So. Check out number nine. And now let's multiply two times 10 to the minus six, multiplied by sine of 60, then divided by three. And what in the world do we come to? We come to 5.77 times 10 to the minus seventh meters. That my friends is the wavelength. Thank you again for tuning in. Appreciate it. Give us a hand, hit that like button, subscribe even. Definitely helps us out. We'll see you soon. Take care.